r slash r credit. People who pooped on the bathroom floor in high school, why? Okay, it wasn't a bathroom floor, it was the floor of a laundromat at an apartment complex, at which I lived. I was 12, and got home, after walking from school. But dad hadn't gotten home, yet so I was locked out of the apartment. For the record, as a kid I didn't shit at school. Couldn't. So now I didn't know what to do, but I knew the shit was coming. I tried holding it in I promise. I moved around, tried occupying my mind with other things, tried running. Next thing I know I'm in the corner of the laundromat shitting on the floor. God I'm so ashamed to admit this even 15 years later. I have nightmares about the cleaning staff of the unlucky tenant just trying to get their clothes out of the dryer and coming upon a steaming hot shit right the fuck there. I try to convince myself that they all must have thought it was a dog, but I remember. That shit was distinctly human. It haunts my soul. On my first deployment, someone took a massive shit in one of the toilets and covered it with an entire roll of toilet paper, and it stayed like that for days. The very first night of my first time at Bonnaroo Outdoor Musical Festival, me and the guys I was with walked past a porta potty that had a literal shit mountain piled up probably a good 8 to 10 inches past the rim of the seat. Like multiple people had decided they would add to this shit heap. And when I say first night, I mean the only thing going on was getting people parked slash entered into the grounds. It wasn't even 10 o'clock at night. Needless to say my friend who had a problem with porta potties beforehand lost his fucking mind and ate an entire box of Imodium. Did not end well. A few months ago I actually walked in on this person literally taking a shit on the floor. We were the only ones and there it was a couple of hours after school had ended. I really didn't know what to do and was still for a few seconds before she started frantically talking and said something about it being an act of defiance or something and was saying she hated the school. I kinda just laughed it off for a second before leaving and going to another bathroom. I didn't say anything to a teacher because I think she was a 9th or 10th grader and I don't know her name. Definitely an interesting part of my education. I'm sure the janitor really appreciated her act of defiance. In our high school the refried beans literally looked like poop so I once put it on the bathroom floor as a joke. It resulted in many many angry facebook posts. Are refried beans not supposed to look like poop? There is a mystery suspect making a mess of the bathrooms at my business right now. Not a school. Grown ups. Ash. Work here. Throwing used toilet paper on the ground. Pissing all over. Wiping poop on the toilet paper dispenser. They go to the bathroom with no cameras outside, but despite that I've still narrowed it down to one of about 12 people. I'll catch you eventually. You think this is limited to high school? I've heard horror stories from my friends who work in nice, professional offices where people poop on the floor and smear it all over the stalls. I was in RAF for 3 years, and we always trained with other as and swapped stories. Our largest female only Rashal had around a thousand occupants, and every year, there was a new poop smearer on a different floor. It never happened in the male or co-ed halls, just there, about every 3 to 5 weeks. I was in RAF for a male dorm for 2 years. Never did anyone ever poop smear. Drunk people pissed everywhere, but no poop smearing. My chemistry teacher told us a story about a student, who I'm positive was an old god of law. He took a shit in a cabinet of the most hated teacher in a high school of 3000 students, and that told cunt let it sit there for weeks. It hardened to the cabinet, and the only reason it got taken care of was because a student slash someone reported the horrible smell. Why? Because she told him he couldn't go to the bathroom, no reason given. Saw a kid urinate in a trash can in the corner of the classroom once because a teacher wouldn't let him go to the bathroom. Pretty sure the teacher was right and the kid would have just went to the cafeteria to hang out, but he felt challenged when the teacher said no, I guess. Kids. Ha. My friend in middle school did the same thing. He legitimately had to go and the teacher was a substitute for the day that couldn't handle the classroom anymore. He asked a few more times and couldn't hold it anymore. I think the teacher was in the wrong. So this is slightly off topic, but relevant nonetheless. When I was young I went to after school care at a local rec center. One day I was there and went to use the bathroom. I was taking a leak at a urinal and I kept smelling shit and I figured someone had just tucked a huge dump recently and that's what I was smelling. 
So I finished up peeing and getting ready to go wash my hands and just happened to peek at the ceiling. I'm sure at this point you understand where this is going, but directly above where I was peeing, there was a turd stuck to the ceiling. Ticking time bomb. Eventually it's going to dry up enough to detach from the ceiling, and it just might catch someone on the noggin. I'm using one of my throwaways for obvious reasons, I doubt anyone will read this at this point, but it's quite personal. I'm in therapy for a lot of things right now and something I've researched a bit about is something that I did as a child that's about the same what up asked. I moved a lot as a child, I wasn't at the same school 2 years in a row until 8th grade. In the earlier elementary years I used to smear my poops on the walls of the stalls. I remember it feeling out of body to me, like it wasn't me that decided to do it, it just happened. I've learned pretty recently that it's likely due to sexual abuse in my very early years. It's something like not feeling in control of your own body, so you're taking control of something. It's something that you make, that your body makes, and this is really all there is to do with it besides flushing it. I didn't do it every time I pooped, but until like 5th grade I caught my poop on some toilet paper, just to see how much it weighed. I never touched it to my skin, or smelled it or tasted it. It was more of a catch and release sort of thing, and sometimes I would smear it. We are going to do EMDR and therapy about it soon to see if that's the source of a lot of my deep shame feelings. If anyone here has read this far, if you catch a child doing this, or hear of someone that got caught doing it, keep an eye out for them. Be an ally by, at the very least, being kind to them and deterring further abuses on the playground. Help the rumor die if you can, or just don't spread it. That may be a child in need of the most dark kind of help. It wasn't in high school, but when I was a young kid out public library was the spot to go to meet up other kids to walk around town. The security guard was a notorious asshole who would make groups of over 3 kids leave because of gang activity. After a few months of this going on a few of the groups of kids would shit on the floor in the bathroom knowing he was the one that had to clean it. He didn't work there much longer. Sophomore year of high school a bunch of friends and I were drinking at this dude's house. We'll call him Greg. This was our first time drinking more or less, and we were just chilling, having few drinks. We were playing GTA and Greg walks into the bathroom, comes out a few minutes later, and sits down. Soon someone else goes into the bathroom comes back and asks, almost like he's trying not to laugh, did someone take a shit on the floor? We all get up, to investigate and sure enough, there it was, a big, slunking turd presented to us in the center of the cool linoleum, like it was on a silver fucking platter. We laughed ourselves to tears, looked up, and saw Greg sitting there. He is trying his absolute best to not start laughing but this is the funniest shit he's ever seen. I asked him between my laughs, did you shit on your own bathroom floor? To which he replies, yeah, I don't know, I thought it would be pretty funny. For the same reason people knock over a garbage can or plug up the sink. It's a small act of antisocial behavior. I worked in a movie theater as a teen. Right in the middle of the bathroom floor someone dropped one of the largest turds I've ever seen. The main log was incredibly dry and about the width of a Pringles can. I still debate to this day whether the poor bastard shat that out real time or multi-shat in an actual Pringles can and then dumped it on the floor. Given the size of the log, the time it would take any normal person to squeeze such a massive grogan out, and the absence of blood, I'm leaning toward the Pringles can theory. I had a kid at my school draw in his own fesses. He was a little disturbed, but not in ASD group or anything. Only reason someone found out was because he went back to class and wiped his hands all over the whiteboard, which was pretty vile. There was a tradition in my college freshman dorm that someone or some owns would shit in the hallway trash cans on move out day, supposedly to get the freshman out faster. I suspected it was our app, but ugh what a way to end a year. Someone just destroyed a bathroom at my middle school I work at. It doesn't punish the school, a teacher or a principal. It punishes the custodians, who happen to be some of the nicest people you will ever meet. I'll never forget walking into the bathroom in high school and seeing the janitor cleaning a massive shit out of the urinal, just sobbing. Not entirely related, but we once had a rebellious kid smeared Vegemite across the walls of the bathroom. 
the VP had all the male students assembled in the hall and he yelled at us for about 10 minutes about how there was feces on the bathroom wall and how the cleaner had to suffer cleaning it up. Needless to say it did not take long for word to get around that it was indeed Vegemite. Reminds me of this kid from middle school who kept shitting on this teacher's driveway. She was widely disliked, she liked to get in students' faces and berate them because she knows that she spits her stanky tooth rot spit on your face while she yells at you. She liked to hand out detention over the smallest things, just on a power trip. Anyway this kid finds out where she lives and shits on her driveway. A group of kids here and don't believe him. So he does it again with them present, except this time he shits on her doorstep and ding darn ditches. This gets repeated for weeks because whenever someone hears about it, they don't believe it and he was all too happy to repeat it for you. Not pooping on the bathroom floor in high school, but maybe related. Once I was going to sleep on the couch at a friend's house after a night of drinking out. We were all about 23 at the time. I'm just about to drift to sleep when I see a female figure in the dark walk into the living room, back up to a corner, drop throw, and start pissing on the hardwood floor. I'm all like, what? Am I really witnessing this? Come to find out they suspected this rumor of doing this on a regular basis, but never had proof. I guess she didn't know I was in the room at the time. Her excuse was a shrug and an indication it gave her some jollies. People are weird. My time to shine. My junior year of high school boyfriend shat on my driveway and flipped an empty flower pot upside down and left it under there. I discovered this when him and his dumb friends dropped me off, laughing and asked me what was under the flower pot. Cue me, oblivious and naive, lifting the flower pot in horror, stunned as they laughed at me looking at literal human shit. Cool way to break up with a girl. I had a friend who pooped on the sink of the school bathroom because he needed to shit real bad and all the cubicles were occupied. Or not just school but public places, heck even some adults do this. One time I was at the cash at Walmart and just noticed the bathroom was fenced off and marked as out of order, didn't really think much of it, but overheard a staff conversation from the other cash and someone basically blasted the entire bathroom with poop, floors, walls, and ceilings. How and why do people do this? Walmart employees don't get paid enough to deal with that. I would hope that they brought in a special abatement team for that. Not the bathroom floor, but on the last day of school back in grade 11, someone took a massive diarrhea shit in one of the stairwells. It was all over the stairs, not sure if someone stepped in it or the pooper dropped his load while going down the stairs. Edit, there were also frequent urinal dukes throughout that year. Pretty sure my high school just had some crazed diarrhea fiend that year. Share your experience or story in the comments section below. If you have a suggestion for our next video, also leave a comment. Don't forget to share the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more funny, scary, or interesting top posts on Reddit. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace out.